the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 1. These are the words which Moses spoke to all of Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Haziroth and Azihab, eleven days from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. And in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first of the month, Moses spoke to the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him commandment to them, after he had killed Sihon the king of the Amorites, who lived in Heshbon, and Og the king of Bashan, who lived at Ashtaroth in Adari, and on this side of Jordan in the land of Moab. And Moses began to declare this law. He said, The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, Ye have lived long enough in this mountain. Turn and take your journey now, and go into the mountains of the Amorites, and to all his neighbors in the plain, in the hills, and in the valleys, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and to Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land, which the Lord swore to your fathers Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, to give to them and to their seed after them. And I spoke to you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you all by myself. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are this day like the stars of heaven for multitude. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. How can I all by myself bear your pressure, and bear your burdens, and your strifes? Take wise and understanding men, men known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And you answered me, and said, The thing which you have spoken is good. And so I took the chief of your tribes, wise and noted men, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, captains over hundreds, captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brothers, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger with him. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great, Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it to me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all things which you should do. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all that great and terrible wilderness which you saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us. And we came to Kadesh Barnea, and I said to you, you have come to the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God has given unto us. Behold, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up and possess it, even as the Lord God of your fathers has said to do. Do not fear, neither be troubled. And you came near to me, every one of you, and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search out the land and bring us word again by which way we must go up, and into what cities we shall come. And the saying pleased me very much, and I took twelve men of you, one of each tribe. And they turned and went up into the mountain, and came to the valley of Eshcol, and searched it out. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands, and brought it down to us, and brought us word again, and said, It is a good land which the Lord our God gives us. But you would not go up, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and you murmured in your tents and said, Because the Lord hates us, he has brought us forth out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us. Where shall we go up? Our brothers have broken our hearts, saying, The people are greater and taller than we are. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. And moreover, we have seen the sons of the Anakims there. And then I said to you, Do not dread them, nor be afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes before you shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes, and in the wilderness where you have seen how the Lord your God carried you 
as a man carries his son in all the way that you went until you came into this place. Yet in this thing you did not believe the Lord your God, who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tent in fire by night, to show you by what way you should go in a cloud by day. And the Lord heard the voice of your words and was angry and swore, saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land, which I swore to give to your fathers, except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. He shall see it, and to him I will give the land that he has trodden upon, and to his children, because he has fully followed the Lord. Also the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, You also shall not go in there. But Joshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go in there. Make him strong, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, who you said would be a prey, and your children, who in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in there. And I will give it to them, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn and take your journey into the wilderness, by the way of the Red Sea. And then you answered and said to me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when each one of you had buckled on his weapons of war, you were ready to go up into the hill. But the Lord said to me, Say to them, Do not go up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest you be beaten by your enemies. So I spoke to you. And you would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously into the hill. And the Amorites who lived in that mountain came out against you, and chased you even as bees do, and destroyed you in Seir, even to Hormah. And you returned and wept before the Lord. But the Lord would not listen to your voice, nor give ear to you. And so you stayed in Kadesh many days, according to the days that you stayed there. Deuteronomy chapter 2. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke to me, and we went around Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spoke to me, saying, You have gone around this mountain long enough. Turn northward now and command the people, saying, You are to pass through the border of your brothers, the children of Esau, who dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Therefore be careful, do not meddle with them, for I will not give you of their land, no, not so much as a foot breadth, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau for a possession. You shall buy food from them for money, so that you may eat, and you shall also buy water from them for money, so that you may drink. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the works of your hand. He knows you're walking through this great wilderness. The Lord your God has been with you these forty years, and you have lacked nothing. And when we left our brothers and the children of Esau who lived in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elath and from Ezion, Geber, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said to me, Do not trouble the Moabites, neither fight with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land for a possession, because I have given our to the children of Lot for a possession. The Emims lived there in times past, a great people who were many and tall, like the Anakims. They also were known as giants, like the Anakims. But the Moabites called them Emims. The Horims also lived in Seir in times past. But the children of Esau took their place when they had destroyed them from before them and lived in their place even as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto him. And now I said, Rise up and get over the valley Zered. And we went over the valley Zered, and the time in which we came from Kadesh Barnea until we had come over the valley of Zered was thirty-eight years, until all the generations of the men of war had died out from amongst the host, even as the Lord swore unto them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was gathered against them to destroy them from amongst the host until they were gone. 
And when all the men of war were gone from amongst the people and were dead, the Lord spoke to me, saying, Today you are to pass over through Ar, the coast of Moab. And when you come near across from the children of Ammon, do not trouble them, nor meddle with them, for I will not give you any possessions from the land of the children of Ammon, because I have given it to the children of Lot for a possession. That also was known to be a land of giants. Giants lived there in past times, and the Amorites called them Zamzumims, a people great and many, and tall like the Anakims. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they took their place and lived in their place, as he did to the children of Esau who lived in Seir, when he destroyed the Horims from before them. And they took their place and lived in their place even to this day. And to the Kaftorims, who came forth out of Kaftor, destroyed the Avims, who lived in Hazirum, unto Aza, and lived in their place. Rise up and take your journey, and pass over the river Arnon. Behold, I will give into your hand Sihon, the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and fight with him in battle. Today I will begin to put your dread and your fear upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear report of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. And I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedomoth to Sihon king of Heshbon with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land. I will go along by the highway. I will neither turn to the right or to the left. You shall sell me food for money, so that I may eat, and give me water for money, so that I may drink. Only I will pass through on my feet, as the children of Esau who live in Seir, and the Moabites who live in Ar did to me, until I shall pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God gives us. But Sihon king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him. For the Lord your God had hardened his spirit and made his heart stubborn, so that he might deliver them into your hands, as it is this day. As the Lord said to me, Behold, I have begun to give Sihon and his land before you. Begin to possess it, so that you may inherit his land. Then Sihon came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Jahaz. And the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we struck him, and his sons and all his people. And we took all his cities at that time and completely destroyed the men and the women and the little ones of every city. We left none to remain. Only we took the cattle as a spoil for ourselves and the spoil of the cities which we took. From Aroer, which is by the brink of the river Arnon, and from the city that is by the river, even unto Gilead, there was not one city too strong for us. The Lord our God delivered all to us. Only to the land of the children of Ammon you did not come, nor unto any place of the river Jabok, nor to the cities in the mountains, nor to whatever the Lord our God denied us. Deuteronomy chapter 3. Then we turned and went up by the way to Bashan, and Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edrei. And the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land into your hand. And you shall do to him as you did to Sihon, king of the Amorites, who lived at Heshbon. And so the Lord our God delivered Og into our hands also, the king of Bashan, and all his people. And we struck him until none was left remaining to him. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we did not take from them. Sixty cities, all the regions of Argob, the king of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls and gates and bars, besides a good many unwalled towns, and we completely destroyed them, as we did to Sihon, king of Heshbon, completely destroying the men, the women, and the children of every city. But we took the cattle and the spoil of the cities as a prize for ourselves. And we took at that time out of the hand of the two of the kings of the Amorites the land that was on this side of Jordan from the river to Arnon 
unto Mount Hermon, the Hermon which the Sidonians called Sirion, and the Amorites call it Shenir. All the cities of the plain, and all of Gilead, and all of Bashan, and all of Salca, Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, all these were taken. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the rest of the giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabath of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length of it, and four cubits the width of it, according to the cubit of a man. And this land which we possessed at that time from Aroer, which is by the river Arnon, and half of Mount Gilead, and the cities of it I gave to the men of Reuben and of Gad. And the rest of Gilead and all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argob, with all of Bashan, which was called the land of the giants. Jair the son of Manasseh took all the country of Argob, unto the coast of Geshuri, and Maachithai, and we called them after his own name, Bashan Havoth Yerir, unto this day. And I gave Gilead unto Machir, and to the Reubenites and to the Gadites I gave from Gilead even to the river Arnon, half the valley and the border, even to the river Jabok, the border of the children of Ammon. And the plain also, and Jordan, and the border of it from Shinnereth, even to the sea of the plain, the salt sea, under Ashdoth Pisgah, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess it. You shall pass over armed before your brothers, the children of Israel, all that are able to be ready for the war, but your wives and little ones and your cattle. I know that you have much cattle. All these shall stay in your cities, which I have given you, until the Lord has given rest to your brothers, as well as to you, until also they possess the land which the Lord your God has given them beyond Jordan. And then ye shall each one return to his possessions, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So the Lord shall do to all the kingdoms where you pass. You shall not fear them. For the Lord your God shall fight for you. And I begged the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth who can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain, and Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me because of you and would not hear me. And the Lord said to me, Let it be enough for you. Speak no more to me of this matter. Get up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward, and southward and eastward, and behold it with your eyes. For you shall not go over this Jordan, but charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him. For he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which he shall see. And so we stayed in the valley over against Beth Peor. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Now therefore listen, O Israel, to the statutes and to the judgments which I teach you in order to do them, so that you may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers gives you. You shall not add to the word which I command you, neither shall you take away from it, so that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Beal Peor. For the Lord your God has destroyed from among you all the men that followed Beal Peor. And you did hold fast to the Lord. You are still alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, so that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Therefore keep and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. 
For what nation is so great who has God so near them as the Lord our God is in all things for which we call upon him? And what nation is so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to yourself and keep your soul carefully, lest you forget the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. But teach them to your sons and your sons' sons. Remember the day that you stood before the Lord your God in Horeb, when the Lord said to me, Gather the people together unto me, and I will make them hear my words, so that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and so that they may teach their children. And you came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire into the midst of heaven, with darkness and clouds and thick darkness. And the Lord spoke to you out of the midst of the fire, and you heard the voice of the words, but saw no likeness, only you heard a voice. And he declared to you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, ten commandments. And he wrote them on two tables of stone. And the Lord commanded me that time to teach you statutes and judgments, so that you might do them in the land where you go over to possess it. Therefore take good heed to yourselves, for you saw no kind of likeness on the day the Lord spoke to you in Horeb, out of the midst of the fire lest you corrupt yourselves and make yourselves a graven image, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water beneath the earth. And lest you lift up your eyes to heaven, and when you see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, lest you should be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord your God has divided to all nations under the whole heavens. But the Lord has taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace out of Egypt to be to him a people of inheritance, as you are this day. Furthermore, the Lord was angry with me for your sakes and swore that I should not go over Jordan and that I should not go into that good land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over Jordan. But you shall go over and possess that good land. Take heed to yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, the likeness of anything which the Lord your God has forbidden you. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. When ye shall father children and children's children, and when ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves by making a graven image or a likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord your God to provoke him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that you shall soon utterly perish from off the land which you are passing over Jordan to possess. You shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you amongst the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the nations where the Lord shall drive you. And there you shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if ye shall seek the Lord your God from there, you shall find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in trouble and when all these things have found you in the latter days, if you return to the Lord your God and shall be obedient unto his voice, for the Lord your God is a merciful God, he will not forsake you nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you since the day that God created man upon the earth. And ask from the one side of heaven to the other, where there has been any such thing as this great thing is, or has been heard like it. Did people ever hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as you have heard and live? Or has any God tried to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation? by trials, by signs, by wonders, by war, and by a mighty hand. 
and by a stretched out arm and by great terrors according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. It was shown unto you that you might know that the Lord is God and no one else beside him. He made you hear his voice out of heaven so that he might teach you. And he showed you his great fire upon earth and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. Because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought you out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt in order to drive out from among you nations greater and mightier than you, to bring you in, to give you their land for an inheritance as it is this day. Therefore know this day and consider it within your heart that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath there is no other. Therefore ye shall keep his statutes and his commandments which I command you this day, so that it may go well with you and with your children after you, and so that you may make your days longer upon the earth with the Lord your God gives you forever. Then Moses separated three cities on this side of Jordan toward the sunrise, so that the slayer might flee there. He who would kill his neighbor through error or who did not hate him in times past, and that fleeing to one of these cities he might live. And they were Bezer in the wilderness, in the plain country of the Reubenites, and Ramoth in Gilead of the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan of the Manassites. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel, these are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spoke to the children of Israel after they came forth out of Egypt on this side of Jordan, in the valley over against Beth Peor, in the land of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who lived at Heshbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel killed after they had come forth out of Egypt. And they possessed his land and the land of Og, king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites who were on this side of Jordan toward the sunrise. From Aurora, which is by the bank of the river Arnon, even to Mount Sion, which is Hermon, and all the plain on this side of Jordan eastward, even to the sea of the plain under the springs of Pisgah. Chapter 5, Deuteronomy chapter 5. And Moses called all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, so that you may learn them and keep them and do them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us who are all of us here alive this day. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mountain out of the midst of the fire, I stood between the Lord and you at that time to show you the word of the Lord, for you were afraid because of the fire and did not go up into the mountain, saying, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not acquit him who takes his name in vain. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Six days ye shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work, you nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your ox, nor your ass, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger that is inside your gates, so that your manservant and maidservant may rest as well as you. And remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt, 
And the Lord your God brought you out from there with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm. Therefore the Lord your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that your days may be made longer, and that it may go well with you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. You shall not kill, neither shall you commit adultery, neither shall you steal, neither shall you bear false witness against your neighbor, neither shall you desire your neighbor's wife, neither shall you covet your neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his ass, or anything that is your neighbor's. And the Lord spoke these words unto all your assembly in the mountain out of the midst of the fire of the cloud and of the thick darkness with a great voice. And he added no more. And he wrote them in two tables of stone and delivered them to me. And when you heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness, for the mountain burned with fire, you came near me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And you said, Behold, the Lord our God has showed us his glory and his greatness. And we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that God talks with man and that he lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more, then we shall die. For who of all flesh has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have and has lived? You go near and hear all that the Lord our God shall say, and you speak to us all that the Lord our God shall speak to you, and we will hear it and do it. And the Lord heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people which they have spoken unto you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there were such a heart in them that they would fear me and keep my commandments always so that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go say to them, go into your tents again. But as for you, you stand here by me and I will speak unto you all the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which you shall teach them that they may do them in the land which I am giving them to possess it. Therefore you shall be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and so that you may make your days longer in the land which you shall possess. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord our God commanded to teach you so that you might do them in the land where you go to possess it, so that you might fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command you, you and your son and your son's sons, all the days of your life, and so that your days may be prolonged. Therefore hear, O Israel, and be careful to do it, so that it may be well with you, that you may greatly multiply as the Lord God of our fathers has promised you in the land that flows with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be in your heart, and you shall carefully teach them unto your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them upon the posts of your house and on your gates. And when the Lord your God has brought you into the land which he swore unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you great and goodly cities which you did not build, and houses full of all good things which you did not fill, and wells which are dug but which you did not dig, vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant. When you shall eat and, and be full, then beware lest you forget the Lord who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You shall fear the Lord your God and serve him and shall swear by his name. 
You shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people who are round about you. For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be kindled against you and destroy you from off the face of the earth. You shall not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in Massa. You shall carefully keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes which he has commanded you. And you shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, so that it may be well with you, and so that you may go in and possess the good land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to cast out all your enemies from before you, as the Lord has spoken. And when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What do the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God has commanded you mean? Then you shall say unto your son, We were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and evil signs, upon Egypt and upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from there so that he might bring us in to give us the land which he swore unto our fathers. And the Lord commanded us all to do these statutes, to fear the Lord our God for our good always, so that he might preserve us alive as it is in that day. And if we are careful to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us, it shall be our righteousness. Deuteronomy chapter 7. We're reading from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7. And when the Lord your God shall bring you into the land where you go to possess it, and has cast out many nations before you, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you, when the Lord your God shall deliver them before you, you shall crush them and completely destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them. Neither shall you make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter unto his son, nor shall you take his daughter unto your son. For they will turn away your son from following me, so that they may serve other gods. And so the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you and will destroy you suddenly. But you shall deal with them in this way. You shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves, and burn their graven images with fire. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people but because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath that he had sworn unto your fathers. The Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of slavery from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God and faithful, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy with them that love him and keeps his commandments to a thousand generations. And he repays those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slow to repay him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. Therefore ye shall keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command you this day to do them. Therefore, because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them, the Lord your God shall keep unto you the covenant and the mercy which he swore unto your fathers. And he will love you and bless you and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land and your grain and your wine and your oil and the increase of your cattle and the flocks of your sheep and the land which he swore unto your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and will put none of these evil diseases of Egypt which you know upon you but he will lay them upon all who hate you. And you shall destroy all the people which the Lord your God shall deliver you. Your eye shall have no pity upon them, neither shall you serve their gods, for they will be a snare to you. If you shall say in your heart, These nations are more than I, how can I throw them out? 
You shall not be afraid of them, but shall well remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all of Egypt. Remember the great temptations which your eyes saw, and the signs, and the wonders, and the mighty hand, and the stretched out arm by which the Lord your God brought you out. So shall the Lord your God do to all the people of whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Lord your God will send the hornet among them, until the ones who are left and those who hide themselves from you are destroyed. Ye shall not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is among you, a mighty and terrible God. And the Lord your God will put out those nations before you by little and little. You will not destroy them at once, lest the beast of the field increase upon you. But the Lord your God shall deliver them to you, and shall destroy them with a mighty ruin until they are destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings into your hand, and you shall destroy their name from under heaven. No man shall be able to stand before you until you have destroyed them. You shall burn the graven images of their gods with fire. You shall not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it for yourself, so that you may not be snared in it. For it is an abomination to the Lord your God. Neither shall you bring an abomination into your house, lest you be a cursed thing like it. You shall utterly hate it, and you shall utterly despise it, for it is a cursed thing. Chapter 8, Deuteronomy chapter 8. All the commandments which I command you this day shall be to you, and you shall be careful to do that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore to your fathers. And ye shall remember all the way which the Lord your God led you these forty years in the wilderness in order to humble you, to prove you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you and allowed you to hunger, and then he fed you with manna, which you did not know, neither did your fathers know it, so that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word that comes out of the mouth of the Lord. And your clothing did not become old on you, neither did your foot swell these forty years. You shall also consider in your heart that as a man chastens his son, so the Lord your God chastens you. Therefore ye shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God, to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord your God brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which you shall eat bread without lacking anything. You shall not lack anything in it. It is a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you may dig brass. And when you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command you this day, lest when you have eaten and are full and have built goodly houses and lived in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply and your silver and your gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart might be lifted up and you might forget the Lord your God who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of slavery. For he led you through the great and terrible wilderness in which were fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty wastes, where there was no water. It was he who brought you forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed you in the wilderness with manna which your fathers did not know, so that he might humble you, and so that he might prove you to do you good in the end, and so that you might not say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth. But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, so that he may confirm his covenant which he has sworn unto your fathers, as it is this day. And if you do it all, forget the Lord your God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. As the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the face of the earth, so ye shall perish, because you would not listen to the voice of the Lord 
your God. Chapter 9, Deuteronomy chapter 9. Hear, O Israel, you are to pass over Jordan this day to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than you, cities great and fenced up to heaven, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakims, whom you know and of whom you have heard it said, who can stand before the children of Anak? Therefore understand this day that the Lord your God is he who goes over before you. Like a consuming fire he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before your face. So ye shall drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said unto you. Do not speak in your heart after the Lord your God has cast them out from before you, saying, For my righteousness the Lord has brought me in to possess this land. But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. Not for your righteousness or for the uprightness of your heart do you go to possess their land. But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. And so that he may perform the word which the Lord spoke to you, to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Therefore understand that the Lord your God does not give you this good land to possess it for your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. Remember and do not forget how you provoked the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness. From the day you departed out of the land of Egypt until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. Also in Horeb you provoked the Lord to wrath so that the Lord was angry with you to have destroyed you. When I had gone up into the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I stayed in the mountain forty days and forty nights. I did not either eat bread nor drink water. And the Lord delivered to me two tablets of stone written with the finger of God. And on them was written according to all the words which the Lord spoke with you in the mountain out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And at the end of forty days and forty nights, the Lord gave me the two tables of stone, the tables of the covenant. And the Lord said to me, Arise, get down quickly from here, for your people whom you have brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, the Lord spoke to me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, so that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven. And I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they are. And so I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire. And the two tables of the covenant were in my hands. And I looked, and behold, you had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf. You had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tablets and threw them out of my hands and broke them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at the first forty days and forty nights, neither ate bread nor drank water because of all your sins which you sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and the fury with which the Lord was angry against you to destroy you. But the Lord listened to me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him. And I prayed for Aaron also the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which you had made, and burned it with fire, and stamped it, grinding it very small until it was as small as dust. And I threw the dust of it into the brook that descended out of the mountain. And Tabera, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hatta Ava, you provoked the Lord to anger. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and you did not believe him nor listen to his voice. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. And so I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore to the Lord, and said, O Lord God, do not destroy thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness. 
which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do not look to the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. Lest the land from where thou didst bring us out say, Because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to kill them in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people, and thy inheritance which thou didst bring out by thy mighty power, and by thy stretched out arm. Deuteronomy chapter 10. We are reading from the book of Deuteronomy. We continue reading now chapter 10. At that time the Lord said to me, Cut out two tablets of stone like the first, and come up unto me into the mountain, and make an ark of wood. And I will write on the tablets the words that were in the first tablets which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. And I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut out two tablets of stone like the first, and went up into the mountain having the two tablets in my hand. And he wrote on the tablets, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spoke to you in the mountain, out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me. And I turned myself and came down from the mountain and put the tables in the ark which I had made. And there they are, as the Lord commanded me. And the children of Israel took their journey from Beeroth of the children of Jaakon to Moserah. And there Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar, his son, served in the priest's office in his stead. From there they moved to Gagoda, and from Gagoda to Jotbath, a land of rivers, of waters. And at that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord to minister unto him, and to bless in his name unto this day. Therefore Levi has no part nor inheritance with his brothers. The Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord your God promised him. And I stayed in the mountain according to the first time forty days and forty nights. And the Lord listened to me at that time also. The Lord would not destroy you. And the Lord said to me, Arise and go before the people, causing them to go in and possess the land, which I swore unto their fathers to give unto them. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you? but to fear the Lord your God, and to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command you this day for your good. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord your God, and the earth also with all that is in it. Only the Lord had a light in your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, you above all people, as it is this day. Therefore circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is the God of gods, and the Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and terrible God, who does not respect persons nor take bribes. He executes justice for the fatherless and widow and loves the stranger in the giving him of food and clothing. Therefore love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt yourself. You shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve him, and you shall hold fast to him, and swear by his name. He is your praise, and he is your God, who has done for you these great and terrible things which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down into Egypt with seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as the stars of heaven for multitude. Chapter 11, Deuteronomy chapter 11. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God and keep his charge and his statutes and his judgments and his commandments always. And you know this day, for I do not speak with your children who have not known and who have not seen the chastisement of the Lord your God his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm, and his miracles and his acts which he did in the midst of Egypt, unto Pharaoh the king of Egypt and to all his land. And you know what he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses and to their chariots, 
how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how the Lord has destroyed them unto this day. And you know what he did to you in the wilderness until you came into this place, and what he did unto Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, and their household and their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all of Israel. But your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord, which he did. Therefore you shall keep all the commandments which I command you this day, so that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land where you go to possess it, and so that you may make your days longer in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to give to them and to their seed a land that flows with milk and honey. For the land into which you go to possess it is not as the land of Egypt from which you came out, where you sowed your seed and watered it with your foot like a garden of herbs. But the land which you are entering to possess is a land of hills and valleys and drinking water from the rains of heaven. It is a land which the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year. And if you will listen carefully to my commandments, which I command you this day, to love the Lord and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, I will give you the rain of your land in its due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain and your wine and your oil, and I will send grass in your fields for your cattle, so that you may eat and be full. Take heed to yourselves, that your heart may be not deceived, and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And then the Lord's wrath may be kindled against you, and he may shut up the heavens, so that there will be no rain, and so that the land will not yield her fruit. And you will perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord gives you. Therefore you shall lay up these my words in your hearts and in your soul and bind them to us for a sign upon your hand so that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. And you shall write them upon the doorposts of your house and upon your gates so that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land which the Lord swore to give to your fathers, like the days of the heavens upon the earth. For if you will carefully keep all these commandments which I command you to do them, to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to hold fast unto him, then the Lord will drive out all these nations from before you, and you shall possess greater and mightier nations than yourself. Every place on which the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the furthest sea shall be your border. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon, as he has said unto you. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse a blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and a curse if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but will turn aside out of the way which I command you this day, to go after other gods which you have not known. And when the Lord your God has brought you into the land where you are to possess it, you shall put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Ebal, are they not on the other side of Jordan, by the way where the sun goes down, in the land of the Canaanites, who dwell in the plain over against Gilgal, beside the plains of Moray? For you shall pass over Jordan to go to the land and possess it, and dwell in it, the land which the Lord your God gives you. And you shall possess it, and ye shall dwell in it, and ye shall be careful to do all the statutes and the judgments which I set before you this day. Deuteronomy chapter 12. And these are the statutes and judgments which you shall be careful to do in the land which the Lord God of your fathers gives you to possess all the days that you live upon the earth. You shall completely destroy all the places in which the nations which you shall possess serve their gods, 
upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And you shall cut down the carved images of their gods and destroy their names out of that place. You shall not do so unto the Lord your God, but unto the place where the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his dwelling place ye shall seek, and there ye shall come. And there ye shall bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and your tithes and heave offerings of your hand and your vows and your free will offerings and the firstborn of your herds and your flocks. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households in which the Lord your God has blessed you. You shall not do according to all the things that we do here this day, each man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. For you have not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God gives you. But when you go over Jordan and live in the land which the Lord your God gives you to inherit, and when he gives you rest from all your enemies round about you, so that you may live in safety, then there shall be a place where the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. There you shall bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and heave offerings of your hand, and all the choice vows which you vow unto the Lord. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, and your men servants and your maid servants, and the Levite that is within your gates, because he has no part nor inheritance with you. Take heed to yourself that you do not offer your burnt offering in every place that you see, but in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of your tribes, there ye shall offer your burnt offerings, and there ye shall do all that I command you. However, you may kill and eat flesh in all your gates. Whatever your soul desires, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you, the unclean and the clean may eat of it, as of the gazelle and as of the heart. Only ye shall not eat the blood. Ye shall pour it upon the earth like water. You may not eat inside your gates the tithe of your grain, or of your wine, or of your oil, or the firstborn of your herds, or of your flocks, or any of your vows which you vow, or your free will offerings, or the heave offerings of your hand. But you must eat them before the Lord your God, in the place which the Lord your God shall choose, you and your son and your daughter, and your manservant and your maidservant, and the Levite that is within your gates. You shall rejoice in the Lord your God in all that you put your hands to. Take heed to yourself that you do not forsake the Levite as long as you live upon the earth. And when the Lord your God shall make your border larger, as he has promised you, and you shall say, I will eat flesh, because your soul longs to eat flesh, you may eat flesh whatever your soul desires. If the place which the Lord your God has chosen to put his name there is too far from you, then you shall kill of your herd and of your flock which the Lord has given you, as I have commanded you, and ye shall eat in your gates whatever your soul desires. Even as the gazelle and the heart is eaten, so you shall eat them. The unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. Only be sure that you do not eat the blood, for the blood is the life, and you may not eat the life of the flesh. You shall not eat of it. You shall pour it upon the earth like water. You shall not eat it so that it may go well with you and your children after you, when you shall do what is right in the sight of the Lord. Only your holy things which you have and your vows you shall take and go to the place which the Lord shall choose. And you shall offer your burnt offerings and flesh and blood upon the altar of the Lord your God. And the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of the Lord your God, and you shall eat the flesh. Be careful to hear all these words which I command you, so that it may go well with you and with your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord your God. When the Lord your God shall cut off the nations before you, when you go to possess them and you take their place and dwell in their land, take heed to yourself that you do not become snared by following them. 
after they are destroyed from before you. And be careful that you do not ask about their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods, that I too may do likewise? You shall not do so unto the Lord your God, for every abomination to the Lord which he hates they have done unto their gods. For even their sons and their daughters they have burned in the fire to their gods. Whatever thing I command you, be careful to do it. Ye shall not add to it, nor take away from it. Chapter 13 If a prophet rises among you, or a dreamer of dreams, and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder which he tells you comes to pass, of which he said, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and hold fast to him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to lure you out of the way which the Lord your God commanded you to walk in. So ye shall put the evil away from the midst of you. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son or your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend who is like your own soul lures you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known, you nor your fathers, that is, of the gods of the people who are round about you, near you, or far off from you, from the one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth, you shall not consent to hear him or listen to him. Neither shall your eye pity him, neither shall you spare, neither shall you hide him. But you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first upon him to put him to death and afterward the hand of all the people. And you shall stone him with stones, so that he dies, because he has sought to lure you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And all Israel shall hear and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness as this among you. If in one of your cities which the Lord your God has given you to dwell in, ye shall hear someone saying, Certain men, the children of Belial, have gone out from among you and have withdrawn those who live in their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known. Then ye shall inquire and make search and ask carefully. And behold, if it is true and the thing is certain that such an abomination is done among you, ye shall surely strike those who live in the city with the edge of the sword, destroying it completely and all that is in it, and all the cattle of it, with the edge of the sword. And ye shall gather all the spoil of it into the middle of the street, and shall burn the city with fire and all its spoil, every bit of it, for the Lord your God. And it shall be a heap forever. It shall not be built again. And let nothing of the cursed thing cling to your hand, so that the Lord may turn from the heat of his anger, and show you mercy and have pity upon you and multiply you as he has sworn unto your fathers, when ye shall listen to the voice of the Lord your God, to keep all his commandments which I command you this day, to do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy chapter 14. You are the children of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourself, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God, and the Lord has chosen you to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the earth. You shall not eat anything hateful to God. These are the animals which you shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the gazelle, and the fallow deer, and the wild goat, and the mountain goat, and the wild ox, and the mountain sheep, and every animal that divides the hoof, and divides it into two claws, and choose the cud among the animals, that you shall eat. Nevertheless, these you shall not eat, of those which chew the cud, or of that which divide the cloven hoof, the camel, the hare, and the coney. For they chew the cud, but do not divide the hoof. 
they are unclean unto you. And the swine, because it divides the hoof, but does not chew the cud, it is unclean unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead body. These you shall eat of, of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales you shall eat. And whatever does not have fins and scales ye shall not eat. It is unclean to you. You shall eat of all the clean birds, but you shall not eat of these, the eagle and the ossifrage and the osprey, and the falcon and the kite and the vulture after its kind, and every raven after its kind, and the owl and the night hawk and the cuckoo and the hawk after its kind, and the little owl and the great owl and the swan and the pelican and the gear eagle and the cor morant. Also the stork and the heron after its kind, and the lapwing and the bat. And every creeping thing that flies is unclean to you. They shall not be eaten. You may eat of all the clean fowls. You shall not eat of anything that dies of itself. You shall deliver it to the stranger that is in your gates, so that he may eat it, or you may sell it to a stranger. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. You shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk. You shall truly tithe all the increase of your seed that the field brings forth year by year. And you shall eat before the Lord your God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there, the tithe of your grain, of your wine, and of your oil, and the firstborn of your herds and of your flocks, so that you may learn to fear the Lord your God always. And if the way is too long for you so that you are not able to carry it, or if the place is too far from you, which the Lord your God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord your God has blessed you, then you shall turn it into money and bind up the money in your hand, and ye shall go to the place which the Lord your God shall choose. And you shall pay that money for whatever your soul desires, for oxen or for sheep or for wine or for strong drink or for whatever your soul desires. And you shall eat there before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice, you and your household, and the Levite that is within your gates. You shall not forsake him, for he has no part nor inheritance with you. And at the end of three years ye shall bring forth all the tithe of your increase the same year, and shall lay it up inside your gates. And the Levite, because he has no part nor inheritance with you, and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow who are inside your gates, shall come and shall eat and be satisfied, so that the Lord may bless you in all the work of your hands which you do. Chapter 15. Deuteronomy chapter 15. At the end of every seven years ye shall make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every man who has a loan to his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it from his neighbor or from his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. You may exact it from a foreigner, but your hand shall release that which is yours with your brother, except when there shall be no poor among you. For the Lord shall greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you, for an inheritance to possess it. Only if you carefully listen to the voice of the Lord your God, to be careful to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, for the Lord your God blesses you, as he has promised you. And you shall lend to many nations, but ye shall not borrow. And you shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. If there is among you a poor man of one of your brothers inside any of your gates, in your land which the Lord your God gives you, you shall not harden your heart, nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall open your hand wide unto him, and shall surely lend him enough for his need, that which he lacks. Beware that there is not a thought in your wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand, and your eye may be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing. And he may cry unto the Lord against you, and it is a sin to you. You shall surely give to him, and your heart shall not be grieved when you give to him, because for this thing the Lord your God shall bless you in all your works, and in all that you put your hand to. For the Lord shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide to your brother, and to your poor, 
and to your needy in your land. If your brother, a Hebrew man or a Hebrew woman, is sold to you and serves you six years, then in the seventh year ye shall let him go free from you. And when you send him out free from you, you shall not let him go away empty. You shall surround him with your flocks, and from your grain floor, and from your wine press. With that with which the Lord your God has blessed you, you shall give to him. And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord God redeemed you. Therefore I command you this thing today. And if he says to you, I will not go away from you, because he loves you and your house, because he is happy with you, then you shall take an awl and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be your servant forever. And also unto your maid servant you shall do likewise. It shall not seem hard to you when you send him away from you free, for he has been worth a double hired servant in serving you six years. And the Lord your God shall bless you in all that you do. And all the firstborn males that come from your herd and from your flock you shall set apart unto the Lord your God. You shall do no work with the firstborn of your bull, nor shear the firstborn of your sheep. Ye shall eat it before the Lord your God, year by year, in the place which the Lord shall choose, you and your household. And if there is any blemish in it, if it is lame or blind, or any ill blemish, you shall not sacrifice it unto the Lord your God. You shall eat it inside your gates, as the gazelle and the hart, only you shall not eat the blood of it. You shall pour it upon the ground like water. Deuteronomy chapter 16. Observe the month of Abib, and keep the Passover unto the Lord your God. For in the month Abib the Lord your God brought you forth out of Egypt by night. You shall therefore sacrifice the Passover unto the Lord your God, of the flock and the herd in the place which the Lord shall choose to place his name there. You shall eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days ye shall eat unleavened bread with it, the bread of affliction. For you came forth out of the land of Egypt in haste. This is so that you may remember the day that you came forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with you in all your borders for seven days. Neither shall any of the flesh which you sacrificed in the first day at evening Remain all night until the morning. You may not sacrifice the Passover within any of your gates, which the Lord your God gives you, but at the place which the Lord your God shall choose to place his name. There ye shall sacrifice the Passover at evening, at the going down of the sun, at the time that you came forth out of Egypt. And ye shall roast and eat it in the place which the Lord your God shall choose. And in the morning ye shall turn and go to your tents. Six days ye shall eat unleavened bread. And on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord your God. Ye shall do no work. You shall count seven weeks to yourselves. Begin to count the seven weeks from the time you began to put the sickle to the grain. And ye shall keep the feast of weeks unto the Lord your God with a measure of a free will offering of your hand, which ye shall give according to the Lord your God as he has blessed you. And ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your son and your daughter, and your manservant and your maidservant, and the Levite that is inside your gates, and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow, those who are among you, in the place which the Lord your God has chosen to place his name there. And you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and ye shall be careful to do these statutes." And you shall keep the Feast of Tabernacles seven days after you have gathered in your grain and your wine. And ye shall rejoice in your feast, you and your son and your daughter, and your manservant and your maidservant, and the Levite, the stranger and the fatherless, and the widow that are inside your gates. Seven days ye shall keep a solemn feast unto the Lord your God, in the place which the Lord your God shall choose because the Lord your God shall bless you in all your increase and all the works of your hands. Therefore ye shall surely rejoice. Three times in a year shall all your males appear before the Lord your God in the place which he shall choose, in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and in the Feast of Weeks, and in the Feast of Tabernacles. 
and they shall not appear before the Lord empty. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given to you. You shall make judges and officers for you in all your gates, which the Lord your God gives you throughout your tribes. And ye shall judge the people with great judgment. Ye shall not wrest judgment. Ye shall not respect persons, neither take a gift. For a gift blinds the eyes of the wise, and perverts the words of the righteous. You shall follow that which is altogether just, that you may live and inherit the land which the Lord your God gives you. You shall not plant a grove of any trees near the altar of the Lord your God which you shall make, neither shall you set up any image which the Lord your God hates. Chapter 17. Deuteronomy chapter 17. You shall not sacrifice unto the Lord your God any bull or sheep in which there is any blemish or any unseemly thing, for that is an abomination to the Lord your God. If there is found among you inside any of your gates which the Lord your God gives you, a man or woman who has worked wickedness in the sight of the Lord your God, in breaking his covenant, and has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or the moon, or any of the host of heaven, which I have not commanded. And if it is told you, and you have heard and inquired carefully, and behold, it is true, and the thing is certain, that such abomination is done in Israel, then ye shall bring forth that man or that woman who has committed that wicked thing to your gates, even that man or that woman, and ye shall stone them with stones until they die. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall be that is worthy of death be put to death. At the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. The hands of the witnesses shall first be upon him to put him to death and afterward the hands of all the people. So ye shall put the evil away from among you. If there arises a matter too hard for you in judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, matters of controversy within your gates, then ye shall rise and go up to the place which the Lord your God shall choose. And ye shall come to the priests, the Levites, and to the judge that shall be in those days, and ask. And they shall show you the sentence of judgment, and ye shall do according to the sentence which the ones of that place which the Lord shall choose shall show you. And ye shall be careful to do to all that they tell you, according to the sentence of the law which they shall teach you, and according to the judgment which they shall tell you, you shall do. You shall not turn aside from the sentence which they shall show you, to the right hand or to the left, and the man that acts proudly and will not listen to the priest who stands to minister there before the Lord your God, or to the judge, even that man shall die. And ye shall put away the evil from Israel, and all the people shall hear and fear and be presumptuous no more. And when you come to the land which the Lord your God shall give you, and shall possess it, and shall live in it, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like all the nations that are round me, you shall surely set a king over you, whom the Lord your God shall choose. You shall set a king over you from among your brothers. You may not set a stranger over you, who is not your brother. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt to the end, that he should multiply horses. Because the Lord has said unto you, Ye shall return no more that way from now on. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, so that his heart does not turn away. Neither shall he greatly multiply silver and gold to himself. And when he sits upon the throne of his kingdom, he shall write a copy of this law in a book, out of that which is before the priests, the Levites. And it shall be with him, and he shall read it all the days of his life, so that he may learn to fear the Lord his God, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes to do them, so that his heart may not be lifted up against his brothers, and that he does not turn aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, to the end that he may make his days longer in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel.